Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I wanted to show you how to replace a uh, coin cell battery in a uh, one key uh, enabled uh, Milwaukee power tool. Now this is my first Milwaukee power tool, so I was reading the instructions, and since it's a new one, I think a lot of the newer ones have the one key built into them. And when you connect it to your phone, which you don't have to do, but there's a thing that tells you uh, your battery status, because I guess it, it uses the, the, you know, your regular uh, battery pack but there's also a coin cell battery in that must keep it connected when it's not hooked up or something but uh, regardless it said mine was a little low so this is a uh, impact wrench but mine is located here under the battery uh, compartment so i'm not sure where it's at on other ones i think most of the one key um, devices are pretty much drills and stuff Maybe there's some other ones coming, but so I would check here first. It should be in your instruction book. I mean, this isn't really even something that matters that much, but I figured I would just make a video in case someone does want to do it. And you need a pair of tweezers, not really for this part, but I'm not sure how well this will appear. But you can see the board with the battery on it, hopefully, and you know, from here you you think you know, there's no way, but this is actually on a cable, so you can pull it out. So this is where I use the tweezers. I don't want to really scratch up the board, but so you have a little bit of cable to work with here, and the way this battery is in is pretty tight too. So I mean, you could probably just use a little screwdriver or something, or but I just kind of get it, and you can push it out. So let me hold this. So the positives up top and like the kind of that coin looking spot that faces down. These are uh, 20 32s. So I got a four pack because I use those for my uh, remote for my car. It uses those. This is a more common size that usually you can find these at Walmart compared to some that uh, you know, for watch batteries are harder to find. Now when I voltage tested the original one, it was coming in at three volts even, and usually the newer ones are higher. This new one tested at 3.22. So I would think this one probably would still work, but maybe it was just right on where it was a little too low. Because sometimes the app said the battery did work, but I'm not sure how much added functionality there is. I really don't need to use the one key, but uh, that would be it. I guess if you didn't want to use it, you could just take that battery out. And as long as it's not hooked up to a uh, a regular full size battery here, it probably wouldn't make any connections. Because so, I saw some people wondering how you could disable it. Well, if you can get to the battery on your tool, and you might want to check the owner's manual if it's a one key device. But I mean, and then putting it back together is self explanatory. So I'm not going to bother with that. But uh, this was new to me, so I'm not sure if anyone else is new to the one key or not. But that's where you get your battery at, at least for this one at the 2032 and that board should be able to pull out. So hopefully this helped you out. Uh, thanks for watching and you'll see me in the next one. Have a good one.